What we hope is that you won't make the same mistakes we made. Uh, now let's head back to Clinton's visit here because clean energy and climate change was also high on the Secretary of State's diplomatic agenda. Clinton also went Saturday to a Sino-American thermal power plant, putting the spotlight on how Washington and Beijing can work through these challenges together. Wang Mamang again. Clinton's stopover at this clean energy thermal plant is more than a symbolic gesture. The cooperative venue is just one example of what China and the United States can do together to fight global warming. The Secretary of State takes a historical approach to make clear the relationship between the environment and the growth of a nation. What we hope is that you won't make the same mistakes we made. Uh, because I don't think either China or the world can afford that. Uh, when we were industrializing and growing, um, we didn't know any better. Neither did Europe. Uh, now we're smart enough to figure out how to have the right kind of growth sustainable growth, clean energy driven growth. China and the U.S. are the world's two largest emitters of carbon dioxide. Both are responsible for dealing with the challenge of global warming. Clinton believes collaboration with China in energy conservation and emission reduction is key in this effort. And he said he wanted to explore ways between universities in the United States and universities in China where we can jointly uh, develop intellectual property, where we can jointly uh, come up with new technologies. Uh, that's the level of partnership we want, where we can each benefit from uh, the fruit of our labor and our intellectual investment. Clinton says specific plans about clean energy will be finalized when the presidents of China and the U.S. meet at the G20 summit in London this April. The fact that including environmental talks in Secretary Clinton's diplomatic agenda shows how seriously the Obama administration is taking the issue. Hillary Clinton is confident that this cooperative venture here will bear more fruits in the future and the two sides have agreed to work for a low-carbon world. Wang Mama and Xu Peng, CCTV.